morning. It's Sunday. It's my turn to cook. I won't be going to church today because when I, it's time my turn to cook, it takes me a while to get dinner going, um, the house straightened good enough. Which I, I've got the house pretty clean. I've did everything pretty much in the house yesterday that I could except for vacuum. I swept the kitchen, dusted. Oh, I've got some cards put up that wouldn't fit on the tree. Put them around that door. It looks pretty. Um, anyway, uh, so the only, I don't really have a whole lot to do in the house this morning, which praise God, it means I won't be rushed, um, before lunch, but I still need to clean the living room because Levi's laid up. He's got two, look, there's two things sitting there. His cup he got, um, a couple days ago and then a glass. He made tea this morning because I was working in here last night and when I left, to go to bed, I forgot to lock the pantry door. So he's already been into the pantry this morning. Um, I've got some clothes to put away down the hallway, but um, I just don't want to be stressed on Sundays. I mean, churches, we need to go to church. It gives us something when we go. We There's a lot of people out there that say, I don't need church. I, I love Jesus. I was saved. I was this, I was that. You know, all this kind of stuff. I know when I die, I'm going to heaven. But church, when you go to church, it it gives you some kind of a, it, fulf, it fills you up. You know, it like fills you up with Jesus for the week to come. I, I don't know any other way to say that. Maybe that even sounds dumb to some people. I don't know. Maybe if I'm not saying it the way I, I should say it. But anyway, I, I'm not going today. It's hard. It's rough on me on Sundays on my day to cook. So, um... What I am doing is something I've seen on a TikTok video or a short or something. So, I'm going to try it. Now, I have this out. This is my ninja book. And this is a pulled pork that I do all the time for the guys love the pulled pork. Um, but uh, I wanted to see if about how long I should do my chicken. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to brown it on all sides. Let me get this put up here that up in there. All right, I'm going to brown it on all sides, which it's doing pretty good right now. I'm fixing to flip it. When I flip it, see right now my Ninja is on stove top high. So I want to get it browned. And then once it's browned on both sides, then I will slip it over here to slow cook high. And um, I will show y'all what I'll do next. had a little bit of grease, a little oil, just a uh, vegetable oil, just a little bit on the bottom. I poured some minced onions in, um, just the kind that you shake. It's dried, dehydrated, I don't know whatever they call them. Uh, let me see, see if I have it up here, right here. Minced onions like this. I also put a little bit of um, chicken fe uh, fajita seasoning, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna brown them now on this other side. And then, there's a bone in this one. There's not supposed to be any bones in this. Hmm. Well, I'm going to pull it later. I'm gonna shred it when it's done. So, um, I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes on this side, and then I'm gonna turn it to slow cook high, and I'll show y'all what I'll do after that. Okay, I have turned it over just a second. You just didn't see me do it. I've already clicked it to slow cook on high. Now I'm gonna add sweet baby Ray's garlic Parmesan. I have three bottles. I don't, I'm not going to start out with three bottles. I'm going to start out with this one. Y'all may have seen this on TikTok. Um, I'm going to start out with one. Mm, smells good. And I'm just going to do the whole bottle in here. All in here. Now, 
in the video, I don't know if this thing will pop out. Yes, it does. In the video, she put some milk. Um, she said whole cream or milk. I don't usually keep a whole cream around. So I'm just going to use some milk. And I'm going to uh, put it in this, what's left over. Um, I'm just going to do about half of this, half of this bottle. Put the lid on it, shake it, or where's the lid? Put the lid on it, shake it around, then pour the rest of it in. Just gets all that goody stuff out of there. Just like that. Now, you know, I, I have a big family, you guys know that, but Dustin had COVID. Then. Jill came home sick from work one day, so she's probably, I, well, you know what? I always say don't claim it, but she's sick, so we don't know if she has COVID or not, but um, I just want to do a cup of this Parmesan. This is Parmesan, grated Parmesan, and I'm going to put a cup of this in here. I've got another cheese over there, too. There's still some left. We can put that on top. Although I got some for the refrigerator. You know that grated Parmesan that you buy that you it shakes out and you get it in the let's just put it in the fridge afterward after you open it. Anyway, I've got one block of cream cheese. She cuts hers all up in, into little pieces. That probably helps it melt better. I don't know. So I'll do that too. I'll do it too. I'm not videoing myself this morning, guys. I'm not dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. I'm wrapped in a sweater. My house was cold. My I don't know if y'all remember a while back I was having a problem with the AC, the breaker or something, and then uh, Dad said, well, try the breaker, but the breaker don't look bad, but you can go get you another one anyway. And I carried that breaker around in my car forever. And um, I'm trying to think, when I went in somewhere, they didn't have my size breaker. I can't remember if I went to Potez. Anyway, I was frustrated. I came home and I just asked Dad, I said, look, just come down and check the breakers. Put it back in and let's see what, and let's just see what happens because the air conditioner people said they weren't going to come out if it was not the AC and it was in the electric box because they don't work on that part of it if it wasn't in the breaker box. So, that put the breaker back in, tightened everything up, and the air conditioner came on. So, I haven't had a problem with it since. That was back in the summer. And now all of a sudden this morning we woke up and the house was freezing and it was 58 according to the according to the temperature thing on the thermostat it was 58 in the house and it's set for it's set to keep it at 68 in the house so sure enough, I went out and flipped the breaker and it came back on. So there is some problem out there, but anyway, it flipped the breaker that it, it's all back on now. All right. So you put the lid on it on slow cook on high for four hours. It's 845. That'll be 1245 when it's done. And um, I leave it alone. I am... Uh, gonna set this to four so I've got all that in there I set my thing to slow cook for four hours and we'll see how it looks when we're done and I have two more of those if I need more I have one more block of cream cheese if I need more and I have another bag of cheese so when all that's done Right, well, before it's done, I'll get it all ground, get that chicken all ground up. And it shouldn't take very long with the chicken. Honestly, it may not take four hours because that's a boneless, skinless thigh. 
And um, I don't know, I think there was about six of them, but when I beat them all up, shred it all up, it'll uh, spread out and I think it'll be good. Anyway, um, about 12.30, I'll start this noodle to cooking. And uh, then I'll probably transfer everything into my big roaster pan because it's just big enough to hold the noodle and all the, the sauce. It'll hold it all together. So I'm going to get cleaned up over here because I've made a little bit of a mess right there. And uh, then I'm going to get dressed and um, I'll show y'all how it looks when it's done. So we got four hours to wait. All right. It says I have 52 minutes left. But if you can see this, this chicken is, oop, is already falling apart. I don't really like to use these in this pot, but this is not enough juice for my family. So I'm going to have to end up putting those other ones in. Those other cans of garlic parmesan. I want to splash stuff up on my clothes. Um... I've got this chicken all broke up now. I just put these tongs together and then pull it apart. I try to do it gentle so I don't scratch my bottom too bad, although I've had it for a lot of years and it's pretty scratched. The first scratches it got was from Daniel because I did a pulled pork. And, you know, just put them in here all together. Actually, it was a whole bunch of pork chops, as many chops as I could fit, and they were frozen. Because that's the guess, best thing about the Ninja. You can do it all, for, you can start it out just right from the freezer, frozen food. Anyway, um, this looks good. All the uh, cream cheese is mixed up. I'm just going to put some more of those. I'll put that other can of stuff in. I'll put another cream cheese in. And hopefully it'll get melted down. But that is really good. So he was, when he got, they came just a few minutes earlier. A few minutes early from church. And he said, you need any help with anything? I said, well, you can uh, transfer this meat so I can get it all uh shredded and he just really didn't pay attention to what i said so he he uh took i had those city those big forks sitting out and he just went to work i didn't say anything <laughs> i just let it be so after those scratches i just like what the heck it's got scratches now but i don't want to do it i try not to do it if i don't have to so i'm going to put one more of these in and since this has, four, it actually on the timer still has 49 minutes. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do what I did while I go and put a little bit of milk to rinse it out and get to get it all out. And I'm going to put that other block of cream cheese, but I think I'm going to soften it. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm going to soften it. Here it is. In the, uh microwave so it won't be um i don't think i turned the video on before i see i don't know if y'all can see this but there are still chunks of cream cheese like right here that's a chunk of cream cheese i'm gonna eat it mm. oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this is the mm. i don't know who that little girl was but i seen that video and I thought, oh, that looks so good, and it looks so simple. And honestly, it it has been simple. I just have to accommodate. If it was just me and Levi, even that one pot, that first pot before I added this stuff, that would have lasted us at least three days, maybe longer. But with this family, I have to double everything and sometimes triple the recipes. But I'm not for sure who all, I know Daniel and Lou will be here. Bree and, and Jake, you never know if they're gonna, they're gonna be here or not. It's always a guessing game with them two. Laramie hardly ever comes 
he uses his day off to do his own thing, his weekends off. Um, Buddy and Steph love him to death. That's my son and my daughter-in-law. But there are some Sundays you don't even hear from them. They just, there are no shows, no shows. Or they don't really attempt to be here at one. They just show up when they show up. Which is fine. But, uh, so yeah, I don't really know. But you know what? Daniel's going to love this. I know he will. Everybody that shows up today is going to love this. And Dustin and Jill, I don't think... Mm, that cream cheese all over my fingers. I don't think... Let me stick this in the microwave. I don't think they're going to be here. I don't... I would hope that Jill, if she took a COVID test and it says negative, fine. But I do not want Levi sick. I don't want to be sick, but I don't want Levi sick. I don't want mom and dad sick. So, I hope they'll take that into consideration. Now, this cheese, I still have a little bit of that Parmesan in that bag. It's only used a cup of it. But this is called Italian style. Can y'all see this bag? there and it's got all these cheeses in it so I'm gonna add this and I'm just gonna go to town with it and then right before everybody gets here when I dump it all with these noodles and I dump it all into the roaster I'm not gonna put it in the oven or anything um, I'm just gonna put it all in and then I'll put some more of this cheese on top of it Five minutes now. Research results. I'm gonna... What are you doing? Oh, I hear the TV talking to him. I don't know what he's done in there. You know what I could do with this? Although I don't want to eat something right now. But this cream cheese, I love cream cheese with ham. Even if it's the pre-cut, you know, Oscar Mayer or whatever right out of the grocery store. I'll take cream cheese and a spoon or a fork and um, and put just a little scoop on a piece of ham and roll it up in a little roll. And I'll t I'll, sometimes I'll do like two of those and that'll be my lunch. This smells so good. Get that cream cheese off there. Mmm, that's hot. I don't know. It looks good, guys. And that cream cheese is already melting into it. So, yeah. And it's 12 right now. So, in 30 minutes, I'll start the noodles. I may start the noodles. Maybe it'd be better for me to start the noodles now. That way, they'll be done about the same time this... And then this is basically done. I can just dump it all into a... The roaster put the lid on it and keep the heat in but this looks so good i mean so good and it tastes good i already tasted it look that cheese is sticking all right let's just eat that come on mm -hmm. all right so with this I'm going to make garlic bread and a vegetable. So I want to show y'all real quick what I did over here. I added some stuff to my village. Remember I was gifted a couple of weeks ago two rolls of this path, this cobblestone. So I laid it out, put it up underneath there, went up underneath there a little bit. I cut it out right there in the shape of that shape. 
I put a little piece right there coming out of the fire department. Then I snowed it like it had been swept so people could walk. And let me see if I've need, added anything else. Oh, I added a, uh, I don't know if that was done before. I used all the little fairy lights like, oh, I just knocked that over. These little lights were here. It's just hanging in the tree. I used all uh, several sets of those. I put them around the tree here, that tree there, that tree there, and one down there at the end of the mountain. And um, so I added a flag on the barn. You know how you see the barns and they've got the painted, the flag painted on them or sometimes a logo or something. And I put a flag on the clock tower. I moved the clock tower down here and had to rearrange this a little bit because with the mountains, there's not a lot of room for hardly anything else. But I ordered a feed store. There it is. I was very disappointed um, because the box said $9.99. Whenever the, the lady had bought it, she bought it somewhere for $9.99. It's a small building. It's the small. They're lighted, but they're small compared to the 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 full size miniatures. These are like miniature miniatures. I don't know what you call them. So I took a two by six on the bottom and then a two by four, covered it in snow, and then sat the feed store. And that brought him up to the level of the other houses the best I could. And then I took some pop, uh, those popsicle sticks, the, kind, the arts from the arts department, the big ones, and I made like a ramp, like if you were at the feed store and you were rolling out feed or getting a delivery. And then I got a little bell of hay and some feet, uh, some little vegetable crates. I put the little wheelbarrow there and the little gentleman that I had sitting up here, like I said, it was a grandpa waiting for, I just put the snowman there and I put him sitting right outside the feed store. He could be eating peanuts, you know, he's eating shelled peanuts. That's what I think he's doing. And then this little guy up here, he's just a worker. He's actually got a little water well like he's pumping water, but I've just got him sitting up there. You really can't tell what he's doing. Anyway, I think that little addition looks really cute with the little ramp. And you can tell it's got all the things that you would see at the feed store. And I put it at the edge of town where, if it was a real town, they would go up the mountain and deliver feed, or these people would come down the mountain and get feed or whatever they wanna get. They could even grab their vegetables right there. Let me see if I added anything else. I don't think I added anything else. Um, I've got a little dog right there inside the Christmas tree farm. I guess he belongs to these kids. They're not watching and they're playing, but he's watching them. And then, yeah, that's about it. I haven't turned these lights on yet because I wanted, uh, they run, the batteries run down really fast. So, um, I'll turn them on in about 30 minutes because I know when all the kids get here after church for lunch, they are going to come right over here and want to see everything. And I don't want the batteries running down on those little lamp posts yet. All right. So I'm going to turn this off and, um, I'm going to turn this off. I keep hitting him somehow. He's crooked there. Little Connor bug. So I'm going to turn this off and finish this lunch, get them veg those uh, vegetables going, steaming, and get the noodles cooking. Levi, want to say hi? She Levi? Why are you blinking? Just say hi! <laughs> Weirdo. Anyway, I'm going to get over here and finish this lunch up, and I will see y'all in a little bit when it's done, and I added it to the... I'll show y'all when I combine everything how it looks. All right, my noodles are done boiling. They were in this pot. Now I've uh, drained them and I've dumped them into this big roaster. I'm fixing to take that and dump it too. So let me see where, I can't sit you here no more because I had that on. Let me see if I can see you from, yeah, you can see from there. All right, this is hot. This is gonna be hard. I almost feel like just taking a ladle and ladling as much out before I try to get the, maybe I should do that. Just do it like, 
I don't want to splash myself with this hot water, this hot, hot water, this hot chicken, but I think this is going to take forever to ladle. All right, let me try it. I splash myself. I'm going to be so angry. Oh, no, I didn't splash. Oh, yeah. See what, see the ninja, how clean it comes? I mean, that's just instant. When I put it under water, this will clean up in two seconds. I'll have this put away. And nobody will know that I had to make the meal in several pots. <laughs> Not that I care, because we make meals in several pots all the time. But, uh, she can totally get put up now. And now I can stir all this in. Oh my gosh, can y'all see this goodness? Here, let me turn this. Turn there, there. Look at that, doesn't that look good? I think they're gonna love this meal. Not my vegetables going right here and turn them down. Got some seasonal and a little pepper and a few of those minced onions. I'll put some butter in here in a minute and some cheese. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, it says 12:40. Let me end this. There. I'll do that in just a second. This is a pretty good mix. I'm gonna put some cheese on top and put the lid on it, and then I'm just gonna let it sit until everybody gets here. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I'm not even gonna taste. I've already took like little stuff off these spoons. I'm just gonna set this to the side, put some cheese right now and the cheese. But this is just the other bag of the, what was left over. And I'm just going to put it on top. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to let it melt. I don't know. I can't remember if that girl put hers in the oven to boil just to make the top dark. But I'm not. I'm going to put the lid on it. Just the way it is. There it is. And this is done. This pot's very hot. I'm going to put this up. That's why I love these deep. Home Depot sells those when I was doing the house. I'd never had in my old house um, before the fire, I never had drawers in the kitchen except for your sink base. It has those two little, like this one here, has those two little drawers on both sides. Besides that, I didn't have drawers in the kitchen. They were all um, cabinets. Well, they may have had drawers like that, little drawers and then a cabinet. When I started buying cabinets for this house, I did those big, several sets of those big, this little thing is missing, and <laughs> I don't know who took that off, but Elora had it out in the in the shop the other day, I was like, where'd I? I didn't know I had any of those left over. Well, I didn't. It's missing from there, and I don't know who took it off. That sounds something like a Connor thing for some reason. Anyway, I am going to wash this up, put some butter in my vegetables, um, and I'm done. I am, I am, oh, done. Hold on. So, I hope y'all try this. I, I know it tastes good. I haven't had it with the noodle. But I've had it, like, my finger on the spoon of this the sauce. And it was really good. So, I've never tried it before. But I'm going to tell you what. This was an actually very easy meal. You, the crock pot, the, well, the crock, she did it in a crock pot. And I have my big crock pot. But I just thought the Ninja would work out better. And I like the way the Ninja worked out. Plus, the Ninja cleans up so easy where the crock pot will get stuff stuck. You know how it burns around the edge. And then you have to 
let it sit in the water or use some kind of scouring something the ninja doesn't it just slides out like it's been oiled and it hasn't been oiled so anyway this is lunch today y'all get this video in a couple of days just to it's just a little extra video for y'all anyway i love you guys god bless y'all try this because i think everybody's gonna love it you'll know when they all start eating because you'll see dad's video and you'll know they loved it all right god bless y'all